Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, a concept uh, called uh, repositories and um, what we're going to be adding in is a few features to our, our uh, application here where we will um, take our, our queries and our non-queries, we're going to put them into, into another a separate class file to manage them. Uh, and these, uh, this concept is called repositories. Uh, the repositories handle off, handle your, your creating, your reading, your uh, update, and your delete functions. Okay, that's something called CRUD, a uh, fairly common name for these things. Okay, so we have, uh, so, so far we've been following the concept of uh, object oriented uh, application design where we're going to start off with our base uh, functionality which inherits into our top level functionality okay so if you remember here we have our address uh, our address um, object has you know has a method that if you feed it a data reader it will grab out all the pieces from that data reader okay uh, the base model uh, gives some functionality that um, you know almost all of our data objects should have uh, like uh, create uh, date, edit date, and things like that. Um, we're also going to be talking about the concept of a virtual function as well, and uh, we're going to be uh, making a few uh, adjustments to this base model as well. Okay, but uh, in our next uh, session, we're going to be getting into some more advanced data concepts as well. We're, we're for filling data because uh, some of the things that we're doing are a little inefficient and uh, we can t we can use less code to do uh, to do the work so let's get on with uh, the concept of repositories here um, in the models folder we're going to add a new folder okay we're going to call this repositories repositories uh, repositories there we go all right and I'm going to add in a base repository all right this base repository is going to carry off uh, a lot of the functionality that we have in our main program.cs file okay change this to public right now and we're going to go over to program cs okay now from our um, Program, our main function in program.cs, uh, we need to take out a couple of these uh, couple objects here that are going to be rendered unnecessary, okay, in, uh, in the context of main, okay, so we're going to take out our connection, we're going to copy that, okay, we're going to go into our class, and we're going to paste it in here, okay, and You'll notice that these red underlines are back, so we do control period. Okay, we're going to change that to using. All right, now uh, this is obviously in the wrong place, and we're going to make some changes here in a moment. But uh, I want to create a base repository constructor. Okay, and I'm going to put that command into there. There we go. Okay. Now, below that, and it doesn't really matter where you put this, but uh, as long as it's not inside the base repository, we are going to put in a SQL connection, and we're going to call this connection with a lowercase c. It's going to uh, simply imply that uh, if you're going to use this, it's a minor object, so you can use it, but it, uh, you know, it's going to be used in some of the other methods so uh, it's implying that it don't don't use it too often okay um, because this is uh, this object here is exists in the main object called base repository we're uh, I'm just gonna get rid of some of the space there we go um, when we create a base repos repository object it is simply going to uh, automatically fill in the data connection okay um, there are other ways of doing this I'm just going to keep it as a default right now uh, you can store this data 
in the uh, app config file um, and uh, well, I'll get into doing things like that later on as we start uh, moving forward but I'm just going to keep it here to keep this lesson fairly simple okay back on to program.cs we also have a command object okay so we can go over here and type SQL command. And again, I'm going to make that lowercase command. And we have a reader object, which we create up here. Same concept here. We're going to call it SQL data reader. Okay. And again, we're going to use that as a lowercase r. All right. Now, if you notice, um, we set the reader to null up here. So we are going to do the same thing in our constructor. So we set reader equals null. Okay. Notice that we don't have to say data reader uh, before this because this here is the actual declaration of it. This is the usage of it. So you don't have to declare reader again. It's already declared down here. Uh, you're just using it here. Okay. All right. So the rest of it is um, is uh, connection setup details, and we're going to do that in a moment too. So if you look here at our connection, all right, we have a few things that we have to accomplish before we actually uh, execute a query. All right. We first have to open a connection or declare a connection, open the connection. Uh, create a command, execute a reader, uh, do work on the command, close the reader, and uh, and then finally close it. Okay, so we are going to create a few functions here. All right, so we're going to call this a public void. I'm going to call this connect. Okay, this is our own connection feature here. All right. And when we connect, all right, we're going to do connection dot open. Okay. And if we have any trouble, oops, I'll do that one more time. There we go. We're going to catch the exception. Okay. And we're going to do console dot write. Just going to spell it right. There we go. Right line e dot message. Okay. That just simply writes out a message that we uh, if there's a problem. Okay, and um, it just it, all this does is it tries the connection. If it fails, it's going to write out uh, that we had a problem. Okay, uh, we're also going to have another feature called disconnect. Okay, and same kind of idea, but. What we are going to do is that if we're going to double check to see if our connection uh, state is uh, is uh, open, right? Uh, if it's open, then we want to close it. Okay. So connection dot close. All right. Now I, I should also do one more thing here is I should add in a uh, if the connection uh, equals null, right? Then we just return. We don't need to do anything else because uh, it uh, the connection doesn't uh, doesn't necessarily exist. That that uh, predicate shouldn't happen either way, but it sometimes might. So we just don't need if if we try to call connection dot state on a null connection, it's going to fail. So we're going to just throw in a couple safeguards just to get uh, get past these things. Okay. So we've got our con connect and disconnect methods. All right, what else do we need here? Looks like we need a, a way of uh, executing a command. All right, so we're going to do a very generic method of executing a command. Okay, and we're going to call this. Um, and this will be the execute query. Okay. And I'm going to feed in a string that uh, indicates what's that has that actually stores the query in there, right? Okay. So from this execute query, 
going to copy over our command and execute reader. Okay, this uh, command here will execute the reader and remember reader is up here in a public object so, uh, so a property so we're going to be able to access the reader object uh, later on okay we're going to remove this query and replace it right here okay so there we have it now we have our execute query and so in, anything that i feed into execute query will execute a data reader all right and that will make the reader object publicly accessible and we can iterate over it okay which brings us to this next line right there okay now we're going to start working with this okay so we have to create um, a repository that is going to deal with addresses okay so we call this addresses repository I think I've spelled that right. No, nope, I didn't. Too many S's. There we go. So we add. Okay. Now, if you recall, this will uh, this object is going to inherit the capabilities of base repository. Okay. So all the features that we've added into base repository are going to be in there. Uh, which should mean if we've done this properly or done this as close as possible, we will not have to in inherit anything from the data um, uh, the data uh, SQL client, which is right here. Okay, it should it, this functionality, all this SQL stuff should be in our base and should not have to be up here. We want to keep these repositories as clean as possible, as easy to read as possible. Okay. So we are going to create our CRUD functions, right? So we look at it like this. So here uh, in our addresses, I'm going to I'm going to do a get function. Okay, this is our read function. Okay, and I'm going to call this read. Another way, you know what? I I prefer using get actually. It just some somehow works for me, but. We'll keep we'll keep with the crud, the crud, read our uh, naming conventions here, right? But I prefer get somehow somehow it just works for me. But we'll do read, okay? So we are going to uh, inside this we're going to declare a list, okay? And we're going to call it items, and we're creating a new list, all right? This is going to be a return value. All right, so here uh, we'll just uh, we'll just carry off some of these uh, the top and bottom parts of our uh, of our code. Okay, so in this point here, now we have to actually connect and execute our query. All right, so here we're going to run connect. And by the way, we have to we, you know we, I, like I always try to do as I do a I, I do top and bottom. So we connect and disconnect. That we don't. You don't forget wh whether you've uh, whether you've uh, done the cleanup portion of it, right? So from here, we're going to do execute execute query. All right, and whoops, didn't want to do that. There we go. So over here, we in our program. Oops, there we are. We go program over here. We have our query. That we're going to execute. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it over into our addresses, and we are going to execute that query. Okay. Now that we have this query set up, I am going to um, uh, iterate over. In fact, I've already got this code set up over here in our program, so we're just going to pull it over. Okay. Okay, just like that copy it and paste it so here we're saying if reader has rows I mean, determining that it has an actual row all right uh, all this is the same stuff here we don't have to worry too much about um, uh, whether we've got uh, where we've got data or anything like that so I'm gonna just take away some of this uh, information because all this function here does is read the data okay 
We don't need to report back any view information, right? So remember, we're using an NBC model. This model and this repository, is its only function is to get the data. It's not to report back on what happened to, during that process in this case, okay? So now we've got that, all right? We've got everything set up, and from what I can see, we've got everything ready to go to actually put it into action, okay? So to do this, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to comment that out. I just used uh, Control K and C. Okay, K then C, not both at the same time. Okay, so from here, I can create a new list of addresses. Okay, I'm going to call this items again. Okay, you don't have to call it items, it could be addresses if you want. Okay, it's your own name. All right. And actually, I don't need that. I need to go out and I'm going to ask for our addresses. Okay, our addresses, address says repository. I gotta learn to type better. Repository. Okay, All right now you remember here. We uh, do not have uh, that added in here into our pro program, so we're going to add that in by doing control period. Okay, now here we can do execute, uh, or not an execute, we're going to read the data. And if you recall, our read, just look at here our tooltip, our read rep returns a list of addresses, which we have. Okay, this is our list of addresses called items. Okay, now from here, I can now uh, iterate through my addresses. So I do for each address item. So I'm going to call this item in items. Okay, I'm going to eat. That means we're getting one item from every time we go around this loop. Okay, so from here, I can do some reporting. Okay, item dot two string. Remember, we set up this two string function for reporting purposes. We can uh, print it out. We'll save this. I think we've got everything ready to go. Let's just push start and we'll go for it. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Here we are. We should have two items in here if we didn't fail out. But we'll find out if we did. Okay, something has gone wrong. Let's find out what it was that went wrong. We're still going to do a little bit of debugging here. Okay, so what actually happened? So we're going to start off here, find out if we actually have some items. If we don't, then we're going to find out why. So let's debug a little bit. We have, uh, you know what I didn't do, guys? Here's what we didn't do. Forgot to add in my little code. Right there, silly me. Okay, what I did, all, all I was doing here when I was reading it, I was, I was just declaring, the, declaring a variable and then moving to the next and declaring another one, so it really wasn't doing anything. I had to, I had to actually put it into the list. If you recall before, we had a function in the program CS, right here, this line, this uh, list add is replacing this line right here, this this reporting feature, and this list simply is uh, it's just going to add this object called ADDR to the list. All right. Okay. Now we should have it working. We don't need to debug anything. I guarantee, you, folks, you're going to be so amazed by the product here. All right, there we are. We have two addresses in our list, and uh, we have now created our read functionality for our repository. All right, so in the next lesson, we're going to start into we're going to talk about our non queries that is, uh, our um, uh, updating, creating, and delete functionalities. So we're going to add that to our repository. Uh, remember to like and share and please subscribe to my channel. 
and we'll catch you in the next lesson. Thanks a lot, guys.